You are the first teach me of the fifth year uh, in the whole of the world. Of the globe. And uh, five years ago, a bit more than five years ago, we decided uh, John Johnson, I have to use a blog post to remind myself from that tile. Uh, John Johnson, David <laughs> Andrew Brown, I mean all these people have done incredible things in, in the road race as well. Andrew Brown, uh, Bob Hill, and this chap called Will Richardson who is visiting Edinburgh for a traditional conference. Um, I'm not a fan of traditional conferences, despite the fact that I spent the entire day, we'll spend all tomorrow in one. Um, the, the thing I don't like, the thing I didn't like five years ago was that when you were at a conference and you disagreed with the guy on the stage, there was no mechanism other than your blog. It was so 2006, you wrote a blog <laughs> and then you published it and you might wait a week before someone left a comment and saying, you're quite right. And then that would be it. And now, of course, with back channel Twitter, you can't afford to be boring, irrelevant, or anything above, or, or, or you're, um, you're in dead water. Now, Will had come over to do a keynote, um, along with Alan November. It was kind of star-studded cast in the official conference, and we managed to get Will over uh, to a pub, the Jolly Judge in Edinburgh, which is a lovely pub if you're there. It's got Wi-Fi, and it had Wi-Fi in 2006, which was quite rare. And we went down there, the sole purpose was buy some beers, and share what we were doing in our classrooms with an American who had an incredible reach, more reach than any of us would ever dream of, and share things that were going on in Scottish classrooms that we felt had more import than much of the draws, frankly, that we were reading in the educational blogs here in 2006. And what started was a notion that actually if you're in a classroom anywhere in the world, you can have as big a voice as anyone else. Um, and it might be online, but actually the most powerful way of doing this was a combination of your own life, whatever you want, <coughs> your Twitter, Facebook, your blog, and the ability to informally connect with people like you in a pub or a, 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 an overheated cinema room in Newcastle. Um, I love this venue, so this is probably the sh one of the cheapest venues that I've been in. Um, so five years ago that happened, we had one in summer, one in September, the next year I think we had two, and then went down to London with it uh, in Redbridge Council, who are quite a forward thinking council actually, in lots of respects. They took it and ran. Um, a lot of people have helped make Teach Me go from a, an occasional gig, an occasional kind of meet up with some buddies in the pub, to being this phenomenon where now, guesstimate wise, you've got about 500 educators a week learning from each other for free. And in much more cosy, circumstances, I think more helpful circumstances than your average, call it £400 conference by the time you pay the hotel room. So I'm honoured, A, to be able to be here tonight. This is uh, a, a thing, life's busy for everyone and I, I think that we all appreciate your time for being here. So I would like to offer you a round of applause for coming out on school night uh, to talk school. Uh, so a round of applause for yourself. What I would encourage you, if this is your first one, or if you've only been to a couple, eh, I'm trying to bring together some voices from around the world. So I've got, so far, um, a, an old post I wrote about how to run one of these things. Eh, if you want to do your own, in your own school, in your own district, um, I want to see a high tech high one within three months, yeah. ideally. Um, no pressure, <laughs> I'm not even looking at it. Um, <laughs> and, uh, a reader challenge is do-it-yourself professional development alive and kicking. We've had a lot of debates about whether actually mere mortals like us are capable of working with uh, you know, sponsors if you need them in venues who might charge for a room or something. Um, I feel that the, the, the ethos of Teach Me is one that is totally unpatronizing and we don't need that kind of top-down mechanism. It's what killed innovation earlier. We're not going to let it kill what we're able to do amongst ourselves. We've got um, Jeff Rutek talking about how he created an unconference culture in the Far East, in Shanghai and now in Thailand. Uh, Colin up in Scotland talking about lead meet, taking the notion and getting leaders engaged in you know, sharing from each other about how to best uh, run schools. And tonight uh, um, we will have Tom uh, Barrett who is instrumental really in bringing it, um, spreading it in England. Uh, Ian Hallahan who's been the unofficial kind of teach me biographer. That's because he lives in the north of Scotland and there's nothing to do there. <laughs> so <laughs> he writes about it. Um, <laughs> tonight, you'll see here from Teach Me Newcastle this Wednesday night. I have a camera and a microphone and I want to gather some of your thoughts 
about how you've been inspired and, and maybe ideas you've got about where this goes in the future. And I want to post them tonight from my hotel room. So I hope some of you at least are up from that. We're going to um, do something now which is for the benefit of, of, of anything, for the benefit of people as much online. Um, let's let's see if, if there are any there. Only Jamie. <laughs> Only times. Jamie. I know. There's no so there's <laughs> lots of people online. I don't know how many, but I'm just going to I'm going to I'm going to pretend that there's thousands. Um, <laughs> and we're going to sing Happy Birthday to Teach Me because it's five years old. Give it more. 